All right, Noe, tell me what we got going on here today. Oh, man, this is Texas Rage in the Cage, man. We're coming back. To the, well, actually, we're coming back to the Rio Grande Valley, our first show, South Padre Island, and uh, we had a great turnout. And uh, we definitely want to do it again, man. Uh, you know, trying to show some love to the Rio Grande Valley. I'm originally from the valley. Uh, we've been having a great success up in the southeast Texas, uh, which is out there in Beaumont area, east of Houston. We've been putting on good shows out there, and uh, we've been producing good fighters, and uh, we're, we're, we're looking for the best fighters. And, and we've had a, uh, quite a few fighters from the valley go up there and, and, and showcase their skills. And, you know, we definitely want to accommodate them by bringing some shows back to the Rio Grande Valley and, and letting them fight in their hometown. You know, giving them an opportunity to uh, showcase their skills and, and to step up to the next level. You know, I mean, I know this is an amateur event. Um, yeah. What what differences? Uh, there, 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 there's no difference, man. This is like college football, man. These guys, these guys are all elite fighters. They they they, they fight, man, and they come out here. They fight better than pros, man. They they come out here and they give it 100 150 percent, man. These guys are all training hard. They come from tough camps. Uh, you can't tell the difference in any of our shows, man. From cage rage one, two, three, four, and five, we've had outstanding fights. Uh, we live up to our, our expectations, our slogan: prepare to tap out or get knocked out. We've had fighters come from outstanding camps, do outstanding submissions, knockouts. And you know, I mean, escape uh, submission escapes, uh, well knowledge fights, and and this is getting the fighter to to proceed their career. You know, either it's something that they want to do just just for the sport, or to step up to the next level, then going to the pro level and getting you know two three hundred dollars. You know, and and in this case, they can actually get on that big big screen. And uh, we've been producing fighters. Uh, we have some magazines that we're actually giving out free from Undefeated Magazine. They have an article of Texas Rage in the Cage. We've been making a ruckus uh, up north, and we want to do some a ruckus down here too as well. And that's just what we do, and uh, we promote the fighter, and we've been producing great fighters, and we have a lot of undefeated fighters, we've got a lot of talent, and we're, we're going to expose it, man. We allow elbows, we allow knees, uh, we pretty much, all the rules go. It's the same rules, it's just the only difference, these fighters aren't getting paid, but, you know, they're getting the pride, they're getting a sanction, they're getting sanction event, uh, they're getting their, their record recorded nationwide, you can go to MixedMartialArts.com, review all their fight cards, uh, the fight card, their, their record, you know, where they come from, their background, and all that information. And so when they go to the pro level, they actually have an outstanding resume, and you know that the fighter shows up to fight, and they're ready to put on a show. Tell me, um, uh, what advantages do fighters have by work uh, by coming in here fighting amateur? getting some fights under the belt and then going pro, what are some of the Well, events? it's actually the experience because, uh, you know, you could, you could be the best fighter in the world and, uh, you know, you could claim that you know you know this, you know the ground game, you know the stand-up, and, and you have all these skills. But when you step in the cage as your debut, you're, you're not only fighting against your opponent, you're fighting against the people, the audience, everybody, and, and, and all the shows that we have, we, we, we produce big shows. This is actually our smallest venue that we had, but you know we want to show the real Grande Valley what, the, what, what Texas Rage in the Cage is all about and what the fighters and the showcase that they're going to produce. Um, you know, and when you have all these people screaming and, and shouting your name or they're with you or they're against you, you know, that, that puts nerves on you, you know, and that's breaking the ice. You're getting that experience to step up to the next level. And you know, it's, it's, it basically comes down to experience. Uh, other than that, they got the same referees, we got great judges, and it comes down to the same. It's it's basically all the same. No, this is uh, your second fight in the valley. Yes, sir. How often do you plan on coming back in the valley? Uh, we're gonna. I mean, it, it's 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 getting crazy, man, because they they want us to keep on coming and coming. You know, we we as Texas Rage in the Cages is our first year, and uh, we're coming to an end of the year, and uh, we, we've been pretty active. You know, we've had this is our fifth show, and hopefully it's a success like the other past shows. And, uh, you know, that's a tough question, but you know what, it's, it's not as tough because we are going to be coming back to Rio Grande Valley. Uh, the Valley shows a lot of love. You know, when we first started, we only had one camp, which is Garcia's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that, that started with Cage Rage 1. And uh, they stuck with us. They, they love what we're doing. So uh, apparently we're doing something right. And uh, we're getting more schools, Castro MMA, South Texas MMA. We have had Pump MMA, uh, you know, and just uh, PSF. You know, and, and we're getting great fighters. We're getting more fighters. We're getting more guys out of Corpus Christi. Uh, we're getting people out of San Antonio, New Braunfels. Uh, you know, we've even had guys, guys from Louisiana, Golden Triangle, Houston area. Um, Noe, I was going to ask you also, uh, um, how do you see mixed martial arts growing in the Rio Grande Valley? Well, I, I think it's growing real big, and that, that's kind of why, why I wanted to bring it back to the Rio Grande Valley, because it's growing. It's growing big. It's, it's real popular up, up north. It's actually popular all over the world. This is a, a growing sport, and, and people love it because it's, it's not just one art form. It's a mixture of different art forms, and that's basically what MMA stands for. You know, it's, it's a mixture of different art forms, and, and it's, it's an art. You could be the best fighter in the world, like I said, and one little mistake, and you can lose. You know? Last question. When, you, when are we going to see you in the ring? <laughs> Only when I get on the mic. Uh, you know, um, 
I work with a lot of these boxers. I'm not just, you know, I just promote it. Uh, I train with a lot of schools. I actually host free seminars because I'm all about the sport. I want the sport to grow. Uh, I grew up in a fighting family. Uh, my dad taught me how to box and I, I would do it in the backyard. So when I moved up to Houston, I actually started boxing with people and actually moving around and, and actually like, wow, man, this guy was doing pretty good. And I just never had the opportunity to do that in the Rio Grande Valley. I didn't, I didn't have the doors open to me and actually tell me where I can go box, where I can go fight. This is and, giving you that. And I'm giving the opportunity here as well because I, I was up in, in Beaumont area. When I started in Houston training a lot of fighters and they started winning a lot of fights. Then I, started, I moved out to Beaumont, started working with a lot of boxers. Then I started working with a lot of MMA fighters because a lot of them were punch a little wild and I started working with their, with their punching and they started producing a lot of knockouts. And, uh, you know, I started working with a lot of people and I, I go, man, I'm doing all this for these guys over here and they're getting their name out there. I got to go back to the Rio Grande Valley and go, show them some love too, you know? And the, the, that, that brings, leads me to another question and, and I lied about being the last question, but um, uh, football, high school football is huge in Texas, right? Yeah. It's huge in the Rio Grande Valley. <coughs> um, the, the knock on the on Valley athletes is the man were too small. They're too small. Yeah. And, you know, not as strong. How do you see the athletes here in MMA from the Valley? Well, it, it, there's no... There, and see, mixed martial arts is an art form. And and it's not about strength. It's not about height. Uh, we, we got we got an outstanding fighter, Jimmy Flick. He's fighting today. You know, he's a small guy, 135 pounds. He's been dominating everybody all over Texas. He's all over Texas MMA. He's all over, he's all over the internet. You know, I mean, that kid, everybody loves to hate him and loves, loves to love him. You know what I mean? Because he puts on a show. It doesn't matter what size you got. We got we got champions at 135. We got a lot of undefeated fighters at 135, and and you know they they'll fight anybody. You know because that's where it comes down to mixed martial arts. It's it's a beautiful art form. You know and 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 uh, in mixed martial arts it, there's weight classes. You know from 125 and all the way up, and you could be any any weight size. Awesome. Anything you want to add? Uh, no, man. Just Texas rage in the cage, man. And uh, we're going to be coming back to the Rio Grande Valley, and hopefully we can do something in Corpus Christi. You know, Corpus people, people from Corpus are showing us a lot of love, and, uh, you know, we'll try to do something out there. And, and we're coming back to uh, Beaumont as well, too. And we're just going to come, be, you know, we're going to please everybody, man. We're going we're gonna to kick off good shows, man. That's all we do. I, you know, basically, I don't put on the show. All I do is put the event, the fighters put on the show. Uh, give me your website. Plug the website. Uh, Texas Rage in the Cage Amateur Association um, presents Cage Rage Five, man. You know, here at the Casa Amistad, you can visit our website at www.texasrageinthecage.com or visit us on MySpace at Texas Rage and check out video footage and our highlights on our MySpace. Awesome, All right, buddy, man. Take it easy, man. You have a good one, man.